I am slowly starting to believe that majority of you all do not know what true accountability really is and what it looks like. And you know me, we about to unpack and get into what I see and what really is or should be what accountability is. In this social media, TikTok craze phase where everybody is calling everybody out, the word that I see passed around a lot is the word accountability. And I see people talking about things that are uncomfortable, talking about why they possibly lost a job, talking about why they possibly fumbled a bag as far as a person or whatever the case may be. And it gets a lot of views, a lot of shares, a lot of people understand, overstand, a lot of people can relate. But to me, what I see is not accountability, it's acknowledgement. See, what is going on now is acknowledgement of self. Like I acknowledge that I lost this person because of this. I acknowledge that I lost this opportunity for this. But true accountability goes further than actually acknowledging it. True accountability is accepting the punishment behind what you've done or what you're claiming you're acknowledging. And granted, in a lot of situations like relationships or loss of jobs, you can't help but accept it because the ball is no longer in your court. But true acknowledgement is embracing that and actually wanting, wanting the punishment because you are self-aware as to how you got there. But see, a lot of people... They want to bargain their way out the punishment. They want to accept what they've done, but they still want to bargain their way out of the punishment. And to me, what I mean by bargaining themselves out the punishment is basically saying, okay, I know, I recognize I did this horrible thing and I know why you're taking this away from me or why you're walking away from me, but give me another chance. And granted, as human beings, we naturally want to make things right. But if you truly understand what you've done was completely wrong to the point where you are accepting of the punishment, then sometimes making it right is not being able to be back in that space again. Or it can mean you may not lose opportunity to ever do this again, but you're going to lose the opportunity to do it with your current situation or your current job, or the current person you would like that. No one's saying you're never gonna find love again. No one's saying you're never gonna get another job, but not this one. An example of bargaining your way out of a consequence or a choice is you take a woman that has three different kids by three different men, and she's out looking for love. And please don't take this the wrong way or think that I'm saying someone with three kids, three different baby daddies don't deserve love. But what if she runs in front of a man or runs into a man that says, hey, I really don't want to be with a woman that has three different kids by three different men. And a lot of times, instead of her accepting that, she wants to go on social media or go on with him in a long text message explaining why he was a jerk or why she he should be dating women with kids and why he was judgmental or whatever, whatever the case may be. Everything but accepting the fact that his parameters you do not meet and I'm not saying that having kids by three different people are, is a bad thing but you have to realize you you are you created that provision for yourself so when someone does not like that provision or does not want to adhere to that provision as an adult the best thing for you to do is just walk away don't argue with them don't try to change their mind. But we, again, we want to work our way out of the consequence. We want to acknowledge the fact that, hey, I know I got three baby daddies by, and three different kids. But at the same time, you don't want to accept what comes with. You don't want to accept the fact that a lot of men don't want to deal with that. So you want to try to convince them as to why they should. It's a waste of time and it's low-key embarrassment and desperation 
that you take your time to explain to somebody why what you have is good enough for them to deal with. Ladies, don't think I'm just picking on you. That's just a popular scenario that I see on social media, but there are definitely scenarios of men not accepting accountability for their situation, their lifestyle, their lack of, and them trying to bash women as well. At the end of the day, I want people to recognize that acknowledgement and accountability are two different things. And if we don't get it together, we are all robbing ourselves true growth, true understanding, true happy full relationships that's why i feel like another reason why relationships don't work out that well because there's always that what if there's always that question that doubt because no one is truly doing the work people are just hopping into situations that allow them to not be truly accountable allow them to feel sorry for themselves but true accountability is taking on the responsibility and the consequences chin up 10 toes down, and that's what we're missing.